Hi, Jennifer here, and um, with everything that's going on, I thought I might address um, the question about murdering versus looting. Um, my friends and people I know and respect um, are framing the concerns that they have way differently than mine. So what I'm hearing is I don't like the murder, but I'm very concerned about the looting. My uh, question is, my the way I phrase that is, I don't like the looting, but I'm way more concerned about the, the murders. Um, and it's not that my friends are bad people. Uh, they're very good, loving, concerned people. They're um, for social justice. It's more that where they live and what they're experiencing is different from me. And obviously, I'm white, so a lot of my friends are white, um, and they don't experience the same things that people in the black community experience. So the reason I'm more concerned about the murders than the looting, and my, my friends who are concerned about the looting is like, don't you care about the looting? Well, of course I care about the looting, but looting is not an issue in my area. I'm like, <laughs> I'm in a semi-rural area, and you know, there's really not a risk of looting happening here. So it's not high on my radar of things to be concerned about. On the other hand, I live in a very racist community. As soon as the murders hap the last murder happened, um, people in my community on social media were talking about using black people as target practice. So I have people in my community who are actively talking about killing and murdering black people. So that is what I am most concerned about. <laughs> And I'm sure it's what the black people in my community are most concerned about, because who wouldn't be concerned when neighbors start talking about killing their neighbors? It's terrifying. No one's talking about looting. There has been no rioting. There's no looting, but people are talking about murder. So that's what I'm concerned about. Do I not like the looting? Of course, I don't like the looting. Who likes the looting except the looters? But what I'm concerned about is the murders. All right. So my friends that are saying they don't like the murders, but they're more concerned about the looting are in areas where, um, you know, the racism is not very high, but it murders still occur, but there's a lot of looting and, and vandalism going on. And so, you know, that's what they're concerned about because that is what they personally are experiencing in the moment. Um, it's not that they don't care about the murders. Of course they care about the murders in the same way I care about the looting, but what they are personally experiencing is the looting. So that's what they're talking about. So I think um, when we talk about these issues with each other, let's acknowledge that everyone cares about murder, except for the murderers, and everyone cares about looting, except for the looters, and give each other that understanding and then understand that what they're emphasizing is not a function. It's not when they say they care about the looting, they're not necessarily saying they don't care about the murders. And when they say they care about the murders and they're not talking about the looting, that they don't care about the looting, it's more that we care about both, but what we care about most is what is most a threat to us as individuals. And then understand every white person who's concerned about looting, understand that every black person in America is concerned about being murdered. Every single one of them. I don't know a single black person who's not concerned about being murdered. And um, the concern about looting, you're, who, if you are concerned, more concerned about the looting, because just understand that's a privilege. Like I am privileged to not worry about looting. And if you're not that concerned about murder, it's because you are privileged not to worry that much about murder. So let's be compassionate with everybody. <laughs> and, you know, a, a, treat each other with kindness. Hi, Jennifer, again, I wanted to follow up the previous video, which was on the question of murder versus looting, and which one do you care about more, and follow up with the conversation about terrorism. So I mentioned that all my black friends are terrified of being murdered, and so their concern is the murder, not the looting, and rightly so. Um, what I want to do for my white friends who do not live with this terror and don't really know that many people who do is explain to you why pretty much everybody in the black community really doesn't care about the looting, right? And that's because they live every day making mental calculations about how not to get murdered. Like imagine if your entire life, you know, there's a lot of good things in your life. There's a lot of positive things in your life, but you have to spend every waking minute worried about making calculations on how not to get murdered. Imagine if that was like, and then imagine if that was your life for, you know, three centuries, that that's how everyone you've known 
has lived for three centuries calculating how not to get murdered. All right, that is the concern. So um, the idea that people who are living with the terror of murder, like all the time, should be concerned about looting is ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. So stop putting your privilege on them. Um, I know if you're concerned about looting, it's all you're telling me is that you don't live with the fear of being murdered. <laughs> like, that's all you're saying. So have some compassion, please, and act on that compassion for your black friends and our, the black members of our community. Um, and let's do something to stop the reign of terror. It's been three or four centuries now that this has been going on. It's time we end it. Jennifer again. And the thing, the last thing I want to talk about today is uh, that there's hope for the future, even though we're going through really difficult stuff now. I live in an area, when I first moved here like 25, 30 years ago, it was really segregated. And now there, it's not uncommon to see multi-ethnic, multi-racial groups playing together on playgrounds. And um, it's not as, it's still segregated uh, in geography, but it's so less segregated in community. There are still racists out there talking about wanting to kill people, but they can't, and we have, I have two openly racist county commissioners, two. They can't stop the rest of us from creating the sort of society that we want. If you wanna live in a multicultural, multi-ethnic community that is supportive of everyone, you can create that. We can create that. So that is our mission. Go out and spread love and create the future.